at uh, 91 here at Watauba Lodge. We're watch, continuing to watch the elephants going down to water. There we got one that's getting water now. We're out here in front of our bungalow. Look, things are taking a turn for the worse for the big buck. She's uh, spurned his romantic efforts. And uh, they're reconsidering this whole love affair. She's just coming into play now. Also going down to the water. While the first one continues to drink heartily and spray water back on him. I think the other one's over by a pond away from this first one. Maybe not. Just give you an idea how far away we are. We're probably about 600 yards away. Meanwhile, back to the romance of the water book. They're back together after a separation where she's burned him the first time. They're persistent. And like most females, she's more persistent. <laughs> Very elusive. She didn't run very far, as Nancy says. Travis! Where's the film? Down here, why? Uh, would you bring it to me? I need to take a picture of something. Okay. There it has to be. <laughs> 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 right. The plant leapfrog. <laughs> Travis, pronto! Right here, quick, bring, go get me the film, Sam. Why? Because you want pickers. Alligators? What's she gonna do? Well, I didn't count all these teeth. It could have been a crocodile. Sam, you want to pick up teeth? Sam, you got to pick up one. Even worse than that, Sam. I can't see through you. Bro, sir. Sam's like the car. The car. The male has gone off to himself, spurned again. I guess he'll wait for nightfall before he makes another attempt. Didn't wait that long. Typical male. Try once again. The female's trying to get away. The big buck's trying to keep her in this area. Can tell this is probably 15 minutes later they've been separated <laughs> and the male buck's trying to make his romantic overtures once again to the female on the ground but that's the uh, eagle on her nest just down from us where she was this morning <laughs> the hyena there's four of them on the left uh, May 5th we're out on just leaving Kruger Park. Kruger Park. Just kind of sit down on them. They're waiting for me to tell a joke so they can start laughing. Line. There's a zebra that's protecting the zebra. The hyena was acting like he was going to go in there and eat some of the zebra in the Lion had other other thoughts. Give you an idea how far away we are. The car here in front of me. He's going back and sit down. The zebra's right up here by the road where all the cars are. Oh, he's spraying there. Marking his spot there. Okay. There's a jacket. Oh, silver jacket. Okay, thank you. 
lines there. I can't, no, don't know whether you'll make, make them out or not. They're facing us. They're facing us, and I've got it zoomed in as quick as I can, but that shows you how well they can camouflage themselves. Those are what, willoughby's? Wildebeest. Wildebeest. Only one kind of bite. Oh. Huh? Give me a Okay. Mm -hmm. Click it again that time. Oh, she got a quick grab on Yeah, you can take one in a minute. This croc out there is huge. Two of them out there. Crocodile rip. Yeah, they're pretty long. They're kind of long. How big are these? There is Oh, that is huge. You have some binoculars, Jim? Uh-huh. Unfortunately, though, they don't go through blonde hair. <laughs> A little humor there. Very, very good. That's enough there, Travis, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right off there. i got to save my film. See it, Sam? You're going to turn it sideways, are you? So the giraffe goes crooked. Yeah. Okay. Here's enough. an overgrowing giraffe. That's enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now there's a way to tell the bus from the mountain. Can I? Yeah, giraffe walking along there. <laughs> something else. Uh, yes. Camille? Yes. I'm so, hungry. That's all I can say. <laughs> Did you eat any cereal? <coughs> yeah. Did you drink your chocolate? We have got granddaughter. <laughs> They're riding along, looking for game here in Kruger Park. I'm going to cover this whole thing. Two generations here. Skip a damn generation. Cover this. What do you think of that elephant? Travis, give me a little dialogue with it. It's a male too, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Very big charge. Very old. Nah, he's old. He's got his feet on the spine, huh? Wow, look at that. That'll be good. Three. He's dreaming. Five giraffes, I don't think you can see, but about three in this picture. Standing there grazing on top of the tree. They look so gentle. Yeah, they really He's over here in this. Push it this way. That's why. Get out the window, Mary. You're gonna get the window. Scooter. The elephants. This is just one side of the road. We're kind of in the middle of all of them. You can push this through, David, if you want. This is the other side of the road with the elephants. Little baby elephant there. Me? Junior. That is a young one. One that uh, I think I have him. Well, honey, I got some good ones. It's at Kruger Park. This drive today, this morning. And just want to show the view from this camp or this vantage point that I'm sitting in. 
give you an idea of what a panoramic view it is. I don't know whether the camera picks up the sound of the running below. Certainly picked up the dropping of the top of the garbage can, I'm sure. Just no, zeroing in on. Oh, Travis, hurry. They've been in the water fighting, and now they're. Hey. Look like they're going to get out and stand That's around a while. That's the first time I've seen a hippo out of water. Out of water. Mommy, can I take a picture? More yeah. there, fat boogers, aren't they? You can you pull up just a little way? Hey, that's great. Wait, 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 wait. How's this? How's that? Good. How's that, Jim? That's fine. Back or forward? Which way? Oh, this is fine. Another hippo coming up to the left. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Where? He's bobbing up and down. He's down. Where is he? Out in the, in the water? water? Yeah. They might have been fighting, that one. I think they were just playing. Yep. How do you turn it See on? See the water moving at the left? There he comes. There he comes. Like a big old submarine. Is it a baby? I don't know. It is. And the poor rock. Yeah, when you pull up a little bit more? No way. I got a perfect picture. It's a young one. Oh, it's a good picture. We're gonna have a little What do they eat? Grass. Now they eat the grass. Okay, it's on. Cape buffalo. This is about one o'clock in the afternoon. May fifth, ninety one. May fifth, ninety one. We're on the lion hunt, trying to find this two lion we saw that killed a zebra this morning, but we haven't found it. Yeah, but we saw these Cape buffalo. Try to zoom in a little on them. Kind of in a shadow there, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, bro. Here are the rest. Yeah. Can I take a picture of you with yours? There's something else over there with them. I've already got a long picture of this okay. one. Okay. That ought to be enough, Patty. Okay, bye-bye. Across the road, and there's another buffalo right there. Heard a buffalo right here. Oh, well, it's it's there's an elephant in there, too. Oh, sure Way back there in the background. See the elephant? There's a whole slew of animals back there in the shade. There's a big one there. That is an elephant. That's an elephant. I That's can see. Yeah. With the, baby with the baby standing under it. Right? You can see where my camera's aiming. I'm doing. No, it isn't. The no, it's baby there. standing right under it. Somewhere in right here, there's an elephant. The cape buffalo there's a little. Over here. What's that right here, here at the elephant. Doing a little test filming here. He likes to go around the side of the field. Yeah. He's in the head. I want to take a shot of him here through the windshield because I don't know whether they'll stick, a, stick around. Right by the side of the road, show you how far we are away from them. 
this is it. Give you a close up of one, maybe he'll laugh for us. Maybe they're the ones that ate the rest of the zebra we saw this morning that the lions killed. They sure are very energetic now. He's gonna come out. I'm shooting Travis and Camille playing through the mirror. What about that guy? Enough of this photography. Okay. We're on camera. I've never stood still for a movie camera. Let's have a straight here. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Yes. Here's a baby ostrich that's got the road blocked. It's not really an ostrich. It's a coran. It's a coran? Bird that comes up and comes up. It's a cor tail uh, uh, is, uh, What is this? Monday morning? Monday. May 6th. We're on the road out from Lataba. About 8 in the morning. And uh, everybody's bright eyed and bushy tail. We're going to, where are we going, Lane? Sabi Sa Sabi. Sabi Sabi? CC. Look, looks like maybe a... I have a hard time there. telling it. You can't tell. Mine are in black and white. Yeah, so what, mine. what type of bird are they, Lane? Lilac breasted roller, and the one on the left is a hornbill. But the roller, apparently, I've not mm -hmm. seen it do it, but it kind of mm -hmm. rolls in the air. Dive bomb and then swing down and get a big termite hill. In fact, it's so big I had to back away from it. We're really pushing for something to do. <laughs> village in South Africa. We've been rocking along here and there's a mountain that popped up over into the west. We're going to Sabi Sabi. Another uh, gay park. See so everybody's quieted down. There's our guide, the lad John, the driver, the comfy. Camille. Sabi Sabi, and their baggage is going through on their heads. We're at the river lodge of Sabi Sabi. Tough duty here. We have to go in and have lunch, and uh, then uh, rush along for a nap, and then rush back at four for tea and uh, a game drive. Oh yeah, you have to order your drink at uh, lunch for the evening, so that's tough. Uh, the Sabi Sabi Lodge where we're staying, looking at the cabins. This is our cabin and our porch right here. House Millers are staying in the next ones, and the uh, next ones down are Lane and Big John and the kids camping. See the monkeys playing around here. Up of our front uh, patio here at the cabin at the Sabi Sabi Lodge, and that's the Sabi Sabi River that looks like it's dry actually. There's, uh, it's a sandbar before you get to the river, and uh, you can maybe be able to hear the water on the video. I don't know whether it picks it up or not. Uh, getting this monkey right there. The little one was hanging on him and I thought that would be a cute shot. Here the little one's behind. See what he does. They're coming right up to me.
<laughs> cute little devils, but I understand that they can really bite and mischievous. Just rolled in some white hogs. Kind of going through the place. There's Big Daddy. Tree here is just full of monkeys. A minute ago it was just shaking because it had so many monkeys playing around in it. The other side of the courtyard here, swinging around, you'll see. One of the most important pathways is this goes to the area where we eat. And in our group, that's very important. In the dining area that I was showing you from another angle, plus the main lodge, reception area, and then some more cabins. They were smart. They put us and our group off to one end, kind of off to ourselves. And with the three kids, they were smarter than they know. Pavilion across the dry riverbed that I showed before. And this is the Sabi River looking downstream and then painting on across. Now, those rock out, those are rock out there, not uh, crocodiles, but that looks a lot like a crocodile sunny. We saw one yesterday on a river that uh, was half in and half out, and uh, it was big enough to eat a grown man or a grown horse. It was a tremendous crocodile. Cool here at the Sabi Sabi Lodge. There's three little monkeys. Camille confirmed this yesterday. She was a red-headed baboon. And uh, Sam. And Travis getting out of the pool. So. And then the, the lifeguard talking to some dirty old man. It's for you. I, couldn't bring you back an elephant head due to excess luggage, but I thought I would get this shot of a hippo's head and uh, see if that suffices. Python here. Yeah. What's a because long thing? Yeah, his tail comes back. See how it blends in? That's how big is he, do you think? You some idea of a total He's length. about a meter and a half. Not very big. These things get massive. I must show you the skin of one that shed its skin. And we've got the skin in our bar on the one wall, and it's almost five meters long. So this is a baby python. Baby. The meters by about a yard, our yard. Through. At the uh, junction, close among the road and the uh, rhino dam. Copy. Um, confirm you're coming out here. He's beginning or shedding, kind of. See his skin. He's got some. Mm -hmm. And too, contains a, a, a latex, which is then. If you get it on your there's skin, there's a little animal in there. I don't know whether you can make him out right in front of the, like the tree. Oh, yeah. Very, oh. very bad. What was the name of that animal again? It was a steenbuck. Steenbuck. Steen. S T. Steenbuck. S T W E N. Yes. Steenbuck. Steenbuck. It move. Be able to follow this much, but I'm just holding the camera as we ran over, as level as I can in the land rover, and showing us that if we go around Sabah's farm, and Sabah's out here being preserved, and uh, it's the route we're traveling. I thought this would be interesting. We're in a land rover, looking for some wine that had been spotted earlier. Uh-oh, we're back on the super highway, so I'll cut off. It's probably our last night in the bush. Uh, give you a view of the African sunset. With the jungle gym, which isn't going to be much help, should anything of any... No problem. No problem. Anything of any... Uh, Ferocity, it all comes up when it's sunset. This side. Go ahead, I don't want my video interrupted. They're, they're smiling. Um, that we've been looking for that they spotted.
느리게. 